Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And because I don't have quite as many attacks to show, just kind of in between wars and all clans <clears throat> that I'm involved in, I'm going to go ahead and talk about war weights in this video. This is a video I've been wanting to put out. I finally uh, kind of got the numbers down and was able to clarify which town hall level has each level of defenses. Uh, so in this video, I'm just gonna go through, talk about what defenses you should be upgrading based on the weight. We're gonna take a look at first the value, you know, the value each defense brings, practically speaking, at town hall nine, town hall 10, town hall 11, as you first upgrade to those. Then the, then the weight it adds to your base. And you have to weigh the weight alongside the added value and see if it's worth it for each upgrade and what order you should do them in, that kind of thing. So we'll get into the first half of defenses right here. There's another screenshot that has the rest of the defenses, but this has the first um, half of the defenses and we'll just go through each one right here. So just so you guys know as well, um, I went ahead and highlighted in gray the Town Hall 9 max level and in red all Town Hall 10 levels and anything beyond that is going to be Town Hall 11 of course and anything before the gray will be Town Hall 8 and below. Hopefully these numbers show up okay on your screen. I don't know how the resolution will be, it depends on uh, your bandwidth and your connection. They might be a little bit blurry, but hopefully on most screens you guys can make out these numbers. So let's go ahead and get right into it, starting with cannons and archer towers. You can see uh, starting at level 10, which is Town Hall 8, when you upgrade those, they go up about 100. Uh, they add about that 100 in weight. Um, and that's the same thing for going up from 11 to 12 at Town Hall 10. Roughly a little less than 100, but again, close to 100. And then uh, from there, it's a little bit less still. So uh, as you go up towards level 14, it actually gets a little bit less each time, getting towards 70 or 80, 70. Uh, but initially, that's going to be about 100. And that's a pretty good value compared to mortars. Look at the mortars uh, in the next row, uh, or the next column, I should say, over there. Uh, 20, or 2612 is the weight per mortar at level seven at Town Hall eight. As you upgrade them at Town Hall nine, that adds an additional 250 and uh, roughly, uh, once again, a little bit less as you go up towards max, but close to, you know, in the 200s uh, for the next few levels. Air defenses, on the other hand, are very cheap. Um, 40 uh, weight points is being added pretty much, uh, or actually, I guess for the uh, 50, roughly from t uh, level six to level seven, Town Hall eight to nine. Then from there again, uh, only to go max to level eight at Town Hall 10, it's only another uh, 45-ish. Uh, Wizard Towers, you know, relatively expensive uh, compared to the other stuff. It's about 200 uh, for both. Um, as you look at these like last four levels, it's about 200, a little bit less. You can see all of these kind of, as you get to the higher levels, they kind of uh, trail off a little bit. They're not quite as expensive as the one before in terms of weight points. Teslas finally are about 100, similar to point defense. So what does this tell you? Um, and this stuff might be kind of intuitive already to people who've been in the war scene for a while, but I think this will shed some light for people that are still not as clear or also just wanna see the exact numbers because these are the exact numbers um, as updated on the wiki page uh, only a few days ago, I believe it was updated. They always change uh, from month to month usually, but these are uh, probably are going to be good estimates for at least the next uh, six months unless they make any major changes. Uh, but for right now, they should be pretty much exactly accurate. But the main thing this tells you here is, first of all, archer towers and, uh, can uh, archer towers and cannons are going to be great investments. Upgrade those guys, and you got to look at the value they bring. Point defense is pretty important. Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, even Town Hall 11. And the archer towers you might think might be a little bit more valuable, but remember the cannons do more actual DPS, so it kind of levels out. The archer towers can cover air as well, which makes them valuable, but the cannons do more DPS. So they're both good investments. Maybe do archer towers first if you have to choose. Uh, but your number one priority should be the air defenses. Take a look at that, how little weight it adds, but the great value considering how powerful air is. Air defenses should be your priority, then go into point defense, do not do those mortars until you're about to be maxed. Save the mortars. You can see how much wasted weight it adds to upgrade those mortars. Wizard towers, um, it's a little bit tough because they are pretty valuable for defending, but they're also pretty expensive in terms of weight. I'd say do your point defense, archer towers, cannons first. 
save the wizard towers for a little bit later. Uh, you can do the Teslas around the same time as the archer towers. I'd say save the splash damage for a little bit later. Even though the wizard towers do add some value, uh, just upgrade your red bombs, upgrade your black bombs, the air traps. Don't do the wizard towers right away. They are pretty uh, weighty. I'd do the point defense and the air defenses first. Do that splash damage later, especially the mortars. Definitely have to wait on those. Do not upgrade your mortars at Town Hall 9, 10, or 11 uh, unless you want to add a ton of weight to your base. Okay, moving on to the next page here. We had the last little round of defenses. I'm not doing traps in this video. They're pretty uh, negligible. Same with offensive troops, and those you kind of have to do based on the demand of the attack. You shouldn't base your war weight off your offense. It uh, doesn't make much sense to do that. And this video, like I said, is helpful because you don't want to have too high of a war weight if you're doing random matchups, and uh, it'll it'll draw opponents too high. Also, if you're just doing friendly wars, it's nice to keep your weight down. Now, there are other ways to weight uh, your your base and clans are coming up with that because this system uh, with mortars being so heavy isn't quite as fair So there are other ways to do it But if you're doing traditional searches like many clans are this video should be helpful for actual random matchups So moving on to this last page here um, Air sweeper very inexpensive uh, just like 25 Roughly um, not even as you get higher up go ahead and get that air defense uh, Actually, it's about 15 that I look at it um, with a little bit of variation, get that air sweeper uh, upgraded. It's very strong against air troops. Not, you know, like an air defense, but it does its job very well. So get the air sweeper done. The bomb tower, do not get that guy upgraded. Um, it doesn't do a whole lot for you. Very uh, limited range, doesn't do anything to air troops. The giant bomb helps, but you have that other anyway. The upgrade doesn't make it much more powerful because um, it does explode as it goes down, kind of like a suicide bomb but it's not going to be that much more powerful upgraded, and it brings quite a bit more weight. So do not do the uh, bomb tower too quickly. Expos are kind of um, uh, a little hard to judge because they do add quite a bit of value, but they are pretty expensive. I'd say in general, do archer towers, uh, Teslas, cannons beforehand. Save those guys a little bit later, but don't be too stingy on those. You do wanna get those upgraded relatively quickly. And lastly, uh, Inferno Towers and Eagle. Those are also very um, heavy, but they're also very powerful. Uh, the Inferno Tower, I think, is a little bit overrated. A level one or level two isn't that much worse than a level three. So I'd say go ahead and wait. Um, but as your base gets to about mid-level, you should think about getting it to level two. And as you get close to max, get that to level three. Once again, don't be too stingy on the Expos, uh, Wizard, or sorry, Expos. Inferno Towers or Eagle because they should be upgraded kind of in proportion to your base But don't you know don't upgrade them right away. That's not a good idea to do in general It's just gonna add unnecessary weight to your base um, So that anyway, that's the video hope it helps just wanted to get these numbers out there Hope you can actually see the numbers. Um, we'll have to see how they show up in the YouTube video They look great on my uh, screen, but that's because I'm the one making the video So we'll see about that But like I said, this might not be quite as important because the CWL format and these kind of high level friendly wars tend to have different ways of weighting bases to make it a little bit more fair based on what actually is powerful in terms of defending in CWL matchups. But for random matchups, this should help a ton for clans that are doing those random searches and want to have at least a fair, if not slight advantage um, in terms of weight. This will make it so that your base is going to, uh, to have the right types of defenses in terms of them being powerful, but not unnecessary stuff dragging up the weight and getting you tougher opponents, such as mortars, such as bomb towers. Those are the two main things to avoid are mortars and bomb towers. Get the point defense done first, typically, and the air defenses, the air sweeper, great ideas, especially with air being so powerful right now and those carrying such little weight. So hope this video helped. Like I said, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. I could do this for offensive troops, but they're not quite as important because they carry very little weight in terms of matchmaking. It's mainly the defenses. Walls do play a role. I acknowledge that. But once again, um, not as much and they're not as important either. So um, focus on defenses and uh, focus on making sure your weight stays reasonable without being too like engineered because we don't want to tip towards that side of the scale. You should be upgrading, but upgrading smartly 
and this video hopefully will help you know what upgrades to make first. So that'll do it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.